Hi and welcome to Ask Charlie. By popular demand, this week I am up in my bathroom with a dirty shower screen and I'm going to show you how I clean it, how I make it sparkle and how actually throughout the week I try and keep it as clean as possible so it's not such an overwhelming task when you come to give it a good clean. So to start with, I thought I would talk you through some of my favourite things. So this is from OXO and actually it was kindly gifted to me. It's really handy. It's got the suction pad so you can leave it in the shower. I personally think it's quite ugly to have on display, so I don't leave mine up on the shower screen. I just keep that actually in the cupboard. And you can just give it a good um, wipe over. And that then means you don't have the water droplets on here. And the water droplets are the things that make the horrid marks if they're left unsqueegeed un squeegeed off. Um, that's what, what makes it. So actually using this on a regular basis is really, really handy after you've had a shower. So let's get on to cleaning it. My favorite lake gloves, which are just perfect for the bathroom because they're extra long, and a minky sponge. So you've got the soft side there and this side is slightly abrasive. Now, if your shower screen is really dirty, you need slightly more abrasion than minky. And so a Spontex, um, I use these in the kitchen for cleaning, but actually they're a bit more abrasive, so you can give it a really good scrub. Now, if it is filthy, a little bit of fairy liquid on this works wonders, and you can get it, and then you can get it up to a certain standard, and then you can keep on top of it by using Method Daily Shower. This is brilliant, so you can literally just spray it, and the water seems to run off, which is really handy, so you can use that and that as a regular thing and then I also um, if it's not really bad and I don't need to get the fairy out I use um, my method bathroom cleaner and I love the smell of this so um, those are those but I also have some of the pink stuff this is really handy for a long metal down here and it just is great at tackling um, the lime scale. So you can either use it on a sponge or with a toothbrush to get into the hard to reach areas. And we've actually got a really annoying hard to reach area around our shower head here. So this is really handy for that. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I've got my sponge a little bit wet with some warm water and I'm just gonna pop a blob of fairy onto that. Now I need to do both sides because this side has got some um, yucky fingerprints I've just noticed. So I'm just going to give this a good wipe over and I'm going to need a bit more water on my sponge. And just go and work all the way over both sides like this and it really will come up gleaming. So now that I've done both sides with the fairy liquid, I'm going to rinse it off using the shower head inside and then just use um, a clean sponge to rinse this side and then see if I need to tackle the lime scale around here and see whether I need to do any more to it. I've got a clean and damp Spontex cloth here and I'm just going to wipe this side. And then I shall use my squeegee. I've got a old towel on the floor down there. You can't always get in the shower as well, which you sometimes do. And just squeegee that all off and then see if it needs an additional clean as well. Uh, 
Right, I'm going to leave that for a minute while I show you. I'm going to get a wet bottom if I sit on there. While I show you <coughs> what I do with the pink stuff. So, again, you need to dampen this down. Just literally put a tiny bit of water in there and I'm going to get my toothbrush and just tackle along the edge where the metal meets the glass and just give that a good scrub too. Okay. And you can do it on both sides as well. So this is when you're giving it a really, really thorough clean. I don't do this. It's probably a once a month job. It doesn't need to be done all the time. Unless you've got really hard water and it's really lime scaly, then you might need to do it a little bit more often. Again, getting into those hard to reach areas around there. Otherwise, you just get a build up of mildew and it's not very nice. Rinses off, and I could have um, done this before I rinsed off the fairy. There are a few little smeary marks still on there, so I shall show you how I tackle those in a sec. Now, this is all clean and rinsed, there are no more watermarks on here, which is brilliant. But I'm just here going to use a little bit of method glass cleaner. Now, I would normally use the bathroom cleaner and then finish with this once a week. If it's really bad, then I use the fairy liquid, which is the secret, the secret way of getting those kind of grimy watermarks off. But I'm just gonna spray with this and then buff it with a dry cloth, so this one is dry. So just, you don't need much. And just give it a good, a good buff up like this. This method glass cleaner, I'll just stop and chat to you for a sec, is really good for mirrors, for um, yeah, all sorts of things, for a streak-free clean. I also use it on the splashback of our Arca as well, and it's great at bringing that up nice and shiny. So there we have it, a gleaming shower door. Remember during the week to use some Method Daily Shower and one of these, and it doesn't become such a big job. Those watermarks don't get ingrained. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't, to ring the bell to be notified of my weekly videos, to spread the word, and most importantly, have a fabulous weekend, and I will catch you again next week.